video. We're at the RTR and we're going around and shooting a lot of videos because there's so many interesting people and interesting rigs and I just want to share them all with you. Uh, and I am here with Jan. And Jan, you are a currently practicing nurse. Correct. And you've got this really cute little Shasta trailer. Yeah, 1972. So it's not right off the factory. No, it sure <laughs> isn't. Been, been yeah. around. Yes, it has, yeah. And uh, how do you like it so far? Uh, I like it. I think it's a little small. Sometimes I think I want something more modern. But you know what? This I've had this 15 years. It's paid for. It works. And it's wonderful to sleep in out here. You know. Uh, so it, it's a, one of the real short little shafts. Yeah, it's a 10-foot box. And I think it's probably 12 or 13 total with the tongue. Wow, 10 foot. That mm -hmm. is a small trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yet one of the big pluses is that you don't need a big vehicle to tow it. I sure don't. <laughs> so what are you towing with? I tow with a 2005 Jeep Liberty little diesel four-cylinder diesel engine and actually got 20 to 21 all the way down here. Wow. Miles per gallon, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. And the little diesels, uh, they have good torque, so it would handle mm -hmm. the weight. Oh, yeah, better. I didn't have any problem. Yeah, going Pulling up right the along. 20 to 21 pull. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, most of us are lucky to get 10 or 11. I was towing. surprised. I thought it would be 15. I really did. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but, and yeah. of course, uh, then you, when you park it, you have it to drive around. Yes. And then you must get great mileage. It's on the highway for me. I've seen it get up to 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's comfortable and easy to drive. Mm -hmm. and oh, yes. A, it's an automatic. Just it's, a great rig. It's a nice little rig. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you're not full-timing. You're still working as a nurse? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. In Washington. Uh-huh. And uh, Washington State. Mm -hmm. And uh, just taking trips. Correct. Well, basically, coming down here for the RTR, to tell the truth, it's the longest trip I've had. Yeah. Ah. But you must take it off in Washington. Washington has some great camping. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So it's been around the Olympic Peninsula a few times with my grandson years ago. So, yeah, I've pulled it a few places. And But you're full-time, so it's not like you could just go down for the summer, I mean, for the winter, when it's pretty rainy there. Not yet. <laughs> That's Soon. a goal, I would think. Yes, it's definitely a goal. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully in a year or two. I don't have too far to go. And then you'll be ready to retire. Yes. Now, as a nurse, you have an option of travel nursing, but that is doesn't fit for you right now? No, not yet, no. I've got family and things going on where in the town I'm at. Right, and that's mm -hmm. true of a lot of, of, the, of my listeners who are thinking in the head towards full-timing, but they have family and whatever that holds them where they are. Yep. Really, really common yeah. story. Yes. So this would be ideal, a really fuel-efficient SUV and a very small trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take your trips, learn about the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And this was actually pretty inexpensive, unlike some of the newer ones, yeah. Right. So I think I paid 1500 for it when I bought it a wow. few years ago. That's yeah. a great deal. And mm -hmm. Shasta is known for pretty good quality Are trailers. They? Yeah. I think so. Uh, that's one of those names that you hear about. Well, I know they were around a long time ago, so <laughs> yes. I do so know it's that. It's been a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you've so. had good luck. We've had it 15 years. You've had good luck I've with it? I've had good luck. I have. There's been a few years it sat under cover and I didn't use it, but I drug it back out last year and started working on it a little bit over the summer and mm -hmm. so I could bring it down here. Mm -hmm. Last year I came and slept in my Jeep and it was just a little too small. I <laughs> so. can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sleeping so. in your Jeep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this would be just... To me, 10 foot for a single person is just about right. Yeah, it's, it's actually got D sat in it last night with me, and we talked about all the cupboards and drawers, and mm -hmm. it really does have quite a bit of room in it. So, Have you had any problems with the uh, roof? That's always one of the big things with our roof. Yes, I you actually have. took apart the fridge vent last summer and redid it, put it back together because it had a leak there. Um, and then I went ahead and put rubber roofing over the... Um, over the aluminum mm -hmm. everywhere especially along the edges where the seams are just to be safe now someday i might take it apart and put a new roof on it but that was just to keep it going for a little bit longer right before too expensive well after 25 years that seems okay yeah oh yeah <laughs> it, it's worked hard it gets a little rest and a little uh -huh. repair yeah and nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. so would you mind if we went inside and took a quick look around i would love to have okay you do let's do that cool sounds good so um let's go inside folks so now I've gone inside, and uh, Jan's just going to talk to us from the door because it's small and kind of hard to get around. So uh, Jan, go ahead and give us the nickel tour. Okay, so this is my little 10-foot box size 1972 Shasta Compact. As you can see, it comes with two bench seats and a little table. Um, 
course, one of them's made out into my bed right now. The shelf across the top has is storage, one of my storage places. So as you can see, my luggage is up there. Mm -hmm. I have plenty of windows in here. Very as, nice. As you can see on the film. And a cupboard there that Bob's just now getting to. That's got food and miscellaneous supplies. It's got three shelves, lots of room in there. The little curtain across the front is just for ambience. It doesn't need to be there for anything, but it's kind of a girly thing. I keep my dishes here on this cupboard over here. Do you mind if I open them up and You can take a look. look That's fine. They're not too bad. No, no skeletons in these closets? <laughs> no skeletons. All right. Not big enough. No, they're all at home. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, cooking stuff. Yeah. Uh, you're on the road. you got to cook. Oh, yeah. Pot or dishes and glasses mostly up there. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, other side, me, oh, gonna... I've got toiletries and food and just miscellaneous items. But that's an awful lot of space. Yes, it is. It's a lot. That's a lot of space. Mm-hmm. Next to that is a nice little closet that at times I put the porta potty in. Um, out here, I put the porta potty in a tent. And so it's nice big storage in there that you mm -hmm. can look in. It doesn't look too bad or anything. Um, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. So right now I've got my water and a few clothes stored in there. Mm -hmm. My little uh, propane tank for my buddy, should I need it. Mm -hmm. And there's your buddy. And we had a, it was fairly cool last night. Did you yeah, get it no, out? You no, know what? I fun? used my little down lap robe there and yes. I was fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Just nice. You got to have clothes mm -hmm. and organization yeah. for them. And um, it's a nice little kitchen. Next on the wall here, we have the fridge. It's kind of on the side wall there. Is it a uh, three-way? It's a three-way. Uh, I need some work. But, so right now I'm using it as an ice box. <laughs> Just you, literally ice. Yeah, I've got ice in there with it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, the little sink just drains outside. I need a little hose and a bucket if I want to use that. So do you have a pump? No, it's a hand pump. It's a hand pump. It's a little hand pump. Yeah, a little hand pump that came with it. Mm -hmm. This is my bad messy cupboard, so it's got food crammed in there. We all have one of those. <laughs> yeah, extra dishes, coffee, all that good stuff. So that's the, th what, the third cupboard, I guess. Got an oven. Nice. With the three burner stove, and the furnace actually works. But I don't have 12 volt right now, so I don't have the fan. Right. I can't run the fan. That's the problem with those. Yeah. And here's all the nice drawers that we're talking about. And then Very the cupboard nice. down below is full of canned goods and um, storage bins. But there's quite a bit of room. There you go. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you could go travel in this and have a very pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, I load it up when I'm on the road with all the extra stuff that's outside right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Jan, thank you so much for sharing your home with us and your experience. And uh, there are a lot of people in your situation that are still working. They're still at home, family, uh, making money. And this is the perfect solution to me. Uh, get a rig, mm -hmm. take trips, learn the ropes. It's working out for you. Wonderfully, yes. And Bob, before you go, I want to tell you thank you for all your videos that are very inspiring in this realm. Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah. I love hearing that. I love mm. hearing that people are being helped. Well, thanks, Jan. I really appreciate uh, your showing us around. Everyone, I hope you've been inspired and think, I can do that. If Jan can do it, I can do it. That's right. And uh, <laughs> it really is true. So we'll, uh, if you like the video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.